Hey everyone, Rosie here. Today I'm going to talk about a dystopian box set called What Tomorrow May Bring. You all know how much I love young adult dystopians, so there was no way I was not going to talk about this on my blog. Basically what it is, is with hopefully with some camera trickery here, you'll be able to see a picture of the box set. Fingers crossed, if not, I'm sorry, I'm just clawing it out. Um, anyway, yeah, it's, a, it's got ten books in it plus one sample from a mixture of um, established and indie dystopian authors which I think is fantastic. I've read some really really good self-published dystopian books over the past couple of years. I was a bit of a, a book snob and until I got a Kindle I'd obviously never had really had the opportunity to read anything self-published but for the first couple of months I was like oh I'm only buying things from big names and things like that but I kind of ventured into the free section because I'm tight and discovered a lot of really good self-published books so that's just a tip if you've never tried reading anything self-published before definitely give it a go because there are some real gems out there what I want to do in this video is talk you quickly through a, a very very quick synopsis of the 10 books taken from Goodreads and then I'm going to talk about a giveaway which I'm doing which is my first giveaway cool first up is Open Minds by Susan K Quinn um, I'm basically just going to read off the first part of the description from Goodreads because I'm not that creative and this description will do a much better job than I can ever do. 16 year old Kira Moore can't read minds in a telepathic world but soon discovers that she can control them instead and is slowly dragged into an underworld of dangerous mindjackers. I've started reading this, I'm not really sure how far through I'm through it because it's all lumped into one big ebook but it is really good, I'm absolutely hooked. Second is The Moon Dwellers by David Estes, I hope that's how it's pronounced, sorry. In a desperate attempt to escape destruction decades earlier, humankind was forced underground into the depths of the earth, creating a new society called the Tri-Realms. I'm really looking forward to reading this, it sounds really good. Prison Nation by Jenny Merritt. In the nation, no one is innocent, not even the children born behind bars. Millie 942B has spent her entire life locked away with her criminal parents and countless other inmates. She believes in the nation, in its strict laws and harsh punishments. I have read this, I read this last year, last April, and I really enjoyed it so I definitely recommend that. Day Night by Megan Thomason. Meet the Second Chance Institute. Earth's benevolent non-profit by day, theorist to totalitarian regime by night. Their motto, because everyone deserves a second chance. Reality. The CSI subjects second chances to strict controls and politically motivated science experiments like cleaving. Forced lifetime union between two people who have sex. Punishment for disobeying CSI edicts. Immediate exile or life. If you've read my blog you know that I rave about Day Night. I love it and the second book is fantastic as well. This I, I would seriously recommend to anybody. Stitch. Samantha Durante. The opening instalment in a twist-laden trilogy, Stitch spans the genres of paranormal romance and dystopian sci-fi to explore the challenges of a society in transition, where morality, vision and pragmatism collide, leaving the average citizen to suffer the results. This sounds good, kind of vague, but it sounds pretty good to me. The Annihilation of Foreverland, I'm sure I'm going to cock up the author's last name, I'm sorry, Tony Bertowski, is that right? When kids awaken an island, they're told there was an accident. Before they can go home, they will visit Foreverland, an alternate reality that will heal their minds. Now this sounds really good. I can't wait to get my teeth into this. The girls from Alcyon, I hope that's how it's pronounced, Carrie Caffrey. Sigrid and Suko are two girls from impoverished and crime-infested streets of the 24th century Earth. Sold into slavery to save their families from financial ruin, the girls are forced to live out their lives in service to the Kimura Corporation, a prestigious mercenary clan with a lineage stretching back long before the formation of the Federated Corporations. This sounds pretty good as well, sounds a bit more military, that's quite different from what I read, and as you know this year I'm on a mission to read something slightly different, so military dystopian is better than dystopian, kind of. The Narrowing Path, David J. Normal. Only the strongest, smartest and most ruthless will survive. Every six years the world draws nearer to the sun. In Arcandis, those who want to live must claim the limited places in the refuge, a series of underground caverns called by the sea. This sounds pretty ace as well, I'm looking forward to reading that. The Rain, Joseph A. There are a lot of stories about how the rain started. The thing that always comes to mind first isn't how though, it's how much. Rus Russell still does the math too. Fifteen. 5,400 and 8,550. 50 inches a day, 5,400 a year and 8,550 8, 8, feet since the start. 
so that's my cat scratching in the background. This sounds interesting as well, but a little bit scary because maybe it could happen in real life. Fire the release, Shelby Westcott. Lucy King is only an hour away from embarking on the most incredible vacation of her life. White sandy beaches in a tropical paradise, snorkelling and sunbathing in peaceful tranquillity. But as Lucy looks forward to her trip, a sinister plot is unfolding that will demolish the world as she knows it. This sounds silly, but I'm not sure whether I can bring myself to read it because I really, really have an issue with stories like this in which they absolutely terrify me. I worry about things like this in real life all the time, so I'm not sure whether I'm going to read that, but it does sound good. External Forces by Deborah Ricks. This is the sample. When 16-year-old Jess begins to show signs of deviance, she enlists in the special forces with her best friend Jay in a desperate bid to evade detection by the devotees. Jess is good with data, not so good with a knife. So when a handsome and secretive sergeant, Matt Anderson, selects her for his black ops squad, Jess is determined to figure out why. This sounds a little divergent so I'm looking forward to reading this and I imagine if the sample is as good as that sounds, I will end up buying it. What Tomorrow May Bring came out in the UK and the US on May 1st. It's available in the US for $3.09 and in the UK for £1.83p. Now that is an absolute steal for 10 bucks plus a sample. It really is. I'm quite happy to pay that for one book. So 10 bucks for that price? get on these links. I'll put these links in the description box below. Two books I've read and the one I'm reading so far are brilliant and if those are anything to go by then this is a real must-have for any fans of dystopian. Good news for my UK viewers, I am doing a bit of a giveaway for this. I was planning on gifting this to somebody but you can't do that in the UK so unfortunately I've got to do a workaround which isn't as good but it's the only thing I can do and I'm going to run a giveaway for a £5 Amazon voucher which means you can pick up this and you know perhaps another couple of books. The giveaway has been run on the blog post about this on my blog which I'll link to below. It's been run on Rafflecopter and will end 4pm on Saturday the 17th of April. I will get in touch with the winner and I will email them the link. I will send the gift batch to them via email. To enter all you have to do is head on over to my blog and leave a post commenting on what you think is the best book out of that and what intrigues you most. You can also earn, I believe it's four more entries by tweeting about it, so tell more people about it. That's all I've got to say about what tomorrow may bring. It's a really good box set. I honestly would recommend it to anybody. I received a copy of this with no obligation to talk about it, video about it, review it or anything, but you know me, I can't pass up dystopian. That's all I've got to waffle about today. Thanks for watching. If you want to hear me waffle about books and more, hit subscribe and don't forget to check out the links in the description box below. Thanks for watching. Bye!